All right. Speaking of titty like <laughs> consistency, uh, Sakurai explains that there's a reason why Kirby survived. Sand. And he it likes is, Kirby. That's the but reason. it's no, no, no. But it is. That's the reason. All right. I want to point out every single Guzen. thing. Guzen. Guzenda. The entire <laughs> complete coincidence. The entire story that Wooly is about to describe to all of you is secondhand huge lies. Everything Sakurai says in this story is fucking bullshit, and it's because he likes Kirby, I, and he's too proud to admit it. I think Sakurai is a noble Fuck hero, you. and I Fuck think he yourself. would never lie. That is crap. So Sakurai says, upon being interviewed about Kirby, <laughs> uh, in typical, so yes, the, there's, they asked about Life Light, the awesome song. They picked Arena Koga, the 17-year-old amateur. She, was, she had a great voice. Uh, Kirby was chosen as the first character for World of Light. Why? Turns out that I the like reason him. was not personal bias. Even though I knew people would expect that. But a mix of game design choices and process of elimination. Galim's attack spans galaxies, and Kirby, with his warp star, made him a contender <laughs> to survive the attack. Sakurai considered Bayonetta and Pelutena as well, but because other characters of their caliber, like Purgatorio enemies and Viridi, were turned into spirits, it wouldn't make sense for them to survive. Furthermore, Bayonetta and Pelutena weren't beginner friendly. He like also Kirby even is. goes down in the full interview into like remarkably specific detail as to shit like why didn't Bayo escape into limbo and all sorts of shit like that. If people who are uh, people who are spirits in spirits mode are stronger than them, then it wouldn't make sense that they got caught. Mm. Furthermore, does that mean the not hey Sakurai? Turn into why does the Japanese name for the mode Tomoshibi no Hoshi when read backwards have a different kanji reading? That's Hoshi no Kabi, aka the name of the game Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when backwards, Sakurai says threw it. down a smoke bomb and left the interview. What a coincidence! Complete coincidence! Wow, isn't that zany? He just happens to be the first playable character. You can switch out the That's others whenever you want. It has nothing to do with any kind of preference whatsoever. That's and I believe him. That is the part. I'm with Sakurai. That proves what a fucking pile of shit. Never this lies. Is. This is such complete. Never garbage. lies. Well, admit it. Fine, you like Kirby. Kirby's cool, <laughs> right? Whatever. Sakurai. Like, shut the fuck up, a, you fucking liar. He Follow runs an honest Kirby. campaign, no smears. That is so He's out there kissing the, babies. The problem How here is dare that you? if Miyamoto directed this game and Mario survives, will he be like, boo? <laughs> How <laughs> liar. dare you besmirch this hardworking man? Such... All he's ever asked for is that you no longer ask him for anything. I'm going to ask him for everything. <sighs> I want Doom Guy, Sans, and Solaire. <laughs> I, just I don't give a shit. Kamiya, Harada, and Sakurai to team up and create the like jet stream attack of "Don't ask me for shit." Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, love it. They're gonna uppercut you, and then with their newly broken hand, ban you on Twitter. And for those that the triple triple tech. And for those that believe in the the honesty and the truth. Fuck. Of Sakurai. Uh, the final Kirby Star Allies update is out. And it's a big one. I saw some of this shit. There's some weird shit. So they, alongside all the characters that came out, they have a full-on mode called Heroes in Another Dimension. That is just a full-on big DLC pack that will allow you to basically almost like sample all the playable characters that have been released post-game uh, post release. So all the stuff that's that, that's been happening up until now, all the extra content is kind of like fitting into this new uh, campaign that you can check out. And I'm looking at Kirby. You're playing a trailer right now, and I'm looking at Kirby in the environment that doesn't fit, that seem to fit Kirby at all because I it looks like it it's from like oh, it, Hollow Knight or Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh no, that's that's where that's where Star Allies. That's where, that's where Star Allies goes. And uh, with the friend circle. And so a friend train. Oh uh, yes, the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this update as well includes brand new lore implications. So yeah, I read those. Uh, I didn't. It's so confusing to I'm, Pat, as I have no basis. Good times. All I saw is a screenshot of the astral birth. Good, <laughs> good times for for people that are on board the Kirby hype train. 
Oh. Which should be everybody. I don't get it. He's a marshmallow. Yeah, like this is the last bit of DLC, and it's like they kind of like they're saying, well, maybe the DLC after this might be paid, or this might be the last Her, one. Kirby's they, marshmallow really and invites a it's happy the, tree. So there's been a lot of DLC. I think yeah. this is the last. I'd one. I'd like to think so. I, I mean, they could do more, but really, they they went above and beyond. You know, they this game had a really great tail end, and uh, yeah, they're finishing big. So we'll find out more about that. And um, I'm probably going to stream it and say what's going More on. More content for Bully Versus. <laughs> probably going to stream it and Coming see what's soon. going on. Built for Bully Versus, honestly, for real. I mean, to be fair, like, I waited years to, quote unquote, pull my Kirby trigger. Yeah. You know, this this whole thing is only really... soft, squishy trigger at that. I've been I've been talking about Kirby for years, but I but like haven't done anything with it outside of saying that, like, it's my fa- one of my honestly, favorite games ever. Honestly, considering and Star Allies Star being my and favorite Smash, game. the timing the, couldn't have been more ideal. That's the thing, yeah. right? Star Allies kind of gun, kind of pushed it, and... And, and seeing how fucking solid you that is. You put the word smash in every tag of those Kirby videos. Mm. <laughs> Release more mashups. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Pull my Poyo trigger. That's good. Uh, all right, let's take some letters. Hey, if you want to send a letter, possibly a correction, most of which have been anti-corrections as they've been wrong themselves, send it to superbestfriendcast at gmail.com. That's superbestfriendcast at gmail.com. Any corrections this week? Uh, if you want to go straight to those, sure. Yes, you set it up. Then we can do that. I like the corrections that are completely wrong. Those are my favorite. We've got one coming in from uh, Kien. Hey, Key. Specified how to say it. Oh, thank you. Uh, dear sons of Zubaz, correction regarding DMC's Devil Trigger and how it resembles the original Dante. Uh, in the DMC LP, Wooly throws out the idea that Dante and to an extension Ninja Theory are making fun of the original Dante design was a joke slash foreshadowing about how Dante resembles the classic one after activating his DT. Mm-hmm. Pat says it's possible, uh, but doesn't think it's likely to be the case. Uh, Wooly might actually be correct because the evidence comes from the first pal uh, from the first game our pal New Dante appeared in, mm-hmm. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. In PSAB in PSASBR, what an yeah, awful actor! That Shut just the worst. wow, Shut up. what a just the worst. fucking mouthful! <laughs> Jesus Christ! It had a really excellent alt costume uh, going for most of the regular characters. For instance, Raiden had his Revengeance uh, outfit yep. and his sneaking suit from MGS2. There were also some really deep, deep cuts, like Parappa having a space suit from that one level in Um Jammer Lamy. Mm-hmm. Um, which makes Dante's costumes notably disappointing. His three costumes were, in order, his regular outfit, makes sense. his regular outfit without the coat, Got it. and his regular outfit without the coat and tank top. So he just had, he was just topless? I guess yeah. so. Okay. In an interview with Omar Kendall, one of the directors at Superbot, he alludes to asking Capcom to first have classic Dante in the game <laughs> before getting shot down. And then ask to include Dante's classic series look as an alternate costume, but was again shot down due to Capcom's plans for DLC costumes and surprises for Ooh. DMC. And that they didn't want people being spoiled by All-Stars. So this implies that Dante's connection to the original Dante was meant to be a big surprise, and Capcom was eager to hide that in promotional material, even to the point of ruining his appearance in a crossover game. Thanks for reading, your girl, Kien. Great, thank you. Well, Dante being in the game ruins everything. Yeah. In the sense that it's like, God, when you talk about PlayStation Battle... I forgot that came out first. Whatever. When you talk about it, it's like, it makes less sense as time goes on. You really, like, at the time, everyone's like, what the fuck? But I think when you really look back on it, it's like, now it's like, that failed. Like Capcom is now burying that reboot. So it would have been so much more classic and memorable if you put the Dante that most people associate with Devil May Cry slash the PlayStation brand, at least the PlayStation Smash 2. Brothers has a better goddamn fucking PlayStation roster in it right it now. Does. Hey, do you fucking, think it fucking does. Fucking it's got Cloud! Hey, it's got Cloud! Do you think... You think it's P- got Richter! Do you think PSAS... <laughs> B- Snake! Do you think PSASBR was actually just the first version of Sony doing the, hey, Nintendo just did a cool thing. I want to do it too. I don't oh, think no. for a fucking second a single person working on that game ever thought there was going to be a sequel. But like... Like the foreshadowing between that and the and the and the PlayStation Classic. Yeah. 
But like there were there was no Smash Brothers game that was new at the time PlayStation All Stars like Brawl had been out for a few years and yeah it was um, an in between time yeah it was uh, it was it was in Smash it was, was in the it was in the Clone yet. years yeah. <laughs> the Clone Wars the Clone Wars uh, yeah I guess that's a correction but I I guess it's not wrong yeah, it was one that came in uh, it's an interesting detail nonetheless okay Cody says found a recent thread about your old cartoon style shirt. Um, with Liam on it, the fact that you can still buy this shirt really underscores the star- really underscores the starry state of merch around here. This guy, this guy isn't mad at you. He's just mad that he can't buy things with your faces on it. All you guys are doing, I get, you guys are all still busy doing your own thing and stuff. I get that, but what you do, what you can do is have someone else do the marketing for you. Because yeah, I would agree. Like a funny email that read. I'd get some what? new merch or something small. So huge fan. Basically, the fans We're, are- working on it. Yeah, working on it. The answer, the fans would like to put some new merch. New merch is being worked on. Working on it. Might take a while, though. Apologies. Uh, <laughs> no questions were vetted today, huh? No, 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 no they were. I just forgot. They're just all shit. There's, I mean, there's just some... There's, <laughs> no, there's, 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 one, there's, there's one from like way back, and I was just trying to remember which one it was. Uh, here's sure. a fun Hey, one. by the way, man, I want to give you a fucking thumbs up for that 99 puppies fucking meme. You're completely <coughs> on point with that shit. 99 puppies, but a bitch ain't one. Ooh. That's not true. That's straight up incorrect. No, it's but incorrect. but it but it feels good. Does it? It no. feels like it could work. Huh? Like just Jay-Z with a bunch of puppies? A bunch of Dalmatians. Yeah. But, like, the mom is included in the 101, so it's Yeah, like, but the 99 isn't the mom. Are they the... Yeah. yeah the, mom, the, the, mom the mom and dad, dad are, the, are, are, the, are, are 100 and 101. 101. Yeah. yeah, it's not called the 101 puppies. It's no. called Dalmatians. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dalmatians aren't very good dogs. They're great at fire... Fire-related things. Yeah, I guess. But they're not good, like, companion animals. They're, like that movie res- resulted in tons of children wanting Dalmatian puppies and then getting bitten. Oh yeah, well, they're not great I mean, with children, dude. It's the fucking clownfish like yeah. problem. But da- and, like Dalmatians and, are not good with children, so like uh, well, yeah, they're because they're super inbred. Yeah, and uh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of breeds that are like just like worse off and in general, and that's unfortunate. 